Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And it's Pete J. And we're back together again. We're in business, Pete. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> we're here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona still. Uh, we are in town uh, after getting beat up. Uh, actually, actually, it was it was kind of a close game that last one. We'll tell you about it in a minute. The Houston Jacks came in town. They beat us. Uh, but uh, your B-Wolves are still, we're still doing okay. We're, we, got, we got hope. We got, a, we got a home game stand here. We're going to be hosting the uh, California Gold Coats. That's not them. This is your B-Wolves that are showing up in the background here. Uh, these are the guys who are going to win today's game against the Gold Coats. But before we talk about the Gold Coats, let's talk about the Jacks, Pete. Whoa. I'd rather right? not. <laughs> the B-Wolves lose the game just like that, Pete. I, I mean, it's 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 getting to be a little a little much. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's a rough well, one. That's a rough loss. That's a rough one. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the other 21 games that happened, too, just so we can find out wh- where this left us. The first game was the Grapplers uh, down in L.A. The Blowfish, Pete, what happened there? Grapplers taking on the Blowfish. Blowfish jump out to an early lead, but the Grapplers come roaring back. It's a back-and-forth battle. The Blowfish will win at 8-7. The Overdogs in New York at the Wild Oaks. Overdogs, 9-1. Moose taking on the uh, Outlaws, and it's the Outlaws three, Moose one. The Heaters were at the Big Otto Bowl against the Saute. The Saute beat them by three. Gold Coats taking on the Moonstars, and it's a back and forth battle, but ultimately it's going to be Moonstars Moon eight five. Yeah, Warblers at the Hot Corners in St. Louis, and the Hot Corners won big nine one. Buzzards taking on the Sandcats. Our sister team jumps out to an early lead. They're going to hold on and win four three and thirteen. Nice. The Freebooters are at the Nemesis in Hawaii. Nemesis, 7 nothing. Crocs taking on the Herbisaurs. The Herbisaurs on a surge, and they're going to keep going. They're 8-2. and two. Front runners of the Grapplers. Grapplers, 4-1. <laughs> Water Bullets in the Sirloins. It's going to be the Sirloins, 5. Water Bullets, 1. Wild Pigs in Detroit. The Heaters, Heaters, 3-1. The Burners in the Hot Corners. And it's a back and forth battle. The Burners out in front, but the Hot Corners come roaring back. Ultimately, Hot Corners, 11-10 at the end ton going on. Overdogs yeah. of the Jacks, and it's Jacks 6-5. The Nemesis taking on the Blowfish, and it's back and forth, but the Blowfish are going to win it 8-4. to four. Hey, look at that. Yeah, Outlaws over the got it. The Saw Teeth, Outlaws 4-2. Freedom taking on the Sandcats. Sandcats will win that one 6-1. to one. Wide loads in St. Louis to the Sirloins. Uh, New York goes in front, and they end up staying there 11-2. Platypie taking on the Freebooters. Platypie jump out to an early lead, but the Freebooters roar back and win the game 4-3. to three. Herbisaurs are the front runners, and it's Herbisaurs 3-2. Moonstars travel to take on the Wild Pigs. Moonstars are going to win it 3-1. to one. Wow. What yeah. a crazy thing that was. Huh? <laughs> so as we look at the Pioneer Conference, Pathfinder Division of Blowfish right now, 19-6, and six, Tom. I got to believe that's the best record in baseball right now. 19-6, and six, uh, they sit atop the Pathfinder Division. Uh, in second place, the Crocodons, 14 and 10, are four and a half games out of first place. In the Uncharted Division, the San Diego Platypi are out in front with a 17 and 8 record and a plus 32 run differential, which looks like it's the second best in the league. They got a two game lead a- a- against the uh, Oakland Outlaws for 15 and 10. Down in the Journey Division, the Grapplers with a record of 15 and 10 have a two game lead over the second place Sandcats, who, are, uh, who have a record of 13 and 12. In the Explorer Conference, Seafair Division is used to Jacks out in front like they've been all season. 16 and 9 record. Uh, they've got a two and a half game lead against these California Gold Coats, who are 13 and 11. In our very own trade division, the Nemesis with a record of 18 and 7 and a plus 33 run differential hold uh, first place. The B Wolves behind them with a record of 15 and 9 find themselves two and a half games out of first place with a plus 30 run differential. Rounding out the trade, the Sirloins in third place with a record of 13 and 12, five games back. The Herbisaurs, 11 and 14, recently surging Herbisaurs. They find themselves seven games out of first place. And the Water Bullets, 8 and 17, not going to be their year this year. They're 10 games out of first place, and they don't look like they're going to be doing much this year. <laughs> in the Curiosity Division, it's the San Jose Saw Teeth out in front of 15 and 10 record. They got a one game lead over the San Diego Moonstars, who are 14 and 11. And that's going to bring us to tonight's game. It's regular season game 25 of 44. It's the second place Gold Coats versus the second place B Wolves. Neither team is going to get first place of the win tonight. Uh, the Gold Coats could fall into third place if they lose. Uh, the Gold Coats are 13 11 rotation aces. This is the second time we played these guys this season. Last time we we beat them, I think, 7 to 1 in uh, Red in um, Oakland at the, uh, at the place. Uh, why am I drawing a blank? 
I don't Tupper know. Hills. There you go. <laughs> Starting pitcher Caesar Austin, the top man of the Gold yeah. Coats, uh, right hander. Throws the ball with crazy accuracy. Throws it hard. It was really good chunk. He's got a four and one winning winning record. He's got a one point six six ERA and a zero nine WHIP, and he's going to try and make the Gold Coats fourteen and eleven. Yes, sir. Backing him up, the, the notable players, uh, players Arnie Blang, Blings. Poof. I'll learn to speak here. <laughs> Arnie Blings, the catcher. He's got uh, very good power, but he uh, struggles to make contact, and he's got less than average speed on the base rest. But he's hitting 400, Tom, with five home runs. Uh, Carlton Starr, the shortstop, he's locked in. Did I say Blings is locked in? Because he's locked in. Oh. Carlton Starr, the shortstop, he's locked in as well. He's got uh, better than average speed on the base pass. He's a really good fielder with a uh, with a good arm. He's hitting 362 with uh, two home runs. And then um, the locked in Montenio Levo, uh, Lievo, the first baseman. He's got good power, good ability to connect. He struggles uh, with speed on the base pass, but he is hitting 292 with three home runs. All right. We're going to be putting our star pitcher on the mound, Hurley Bender, the right-hander, known with a crazy junk and his great accuracy and good velocity. Hurley, surprisingly, only has a 1-1 one one record on the season at a 5-7-0 ERA with a 1-4-0 whip. So Hurley is not playing his best uh, as of late. He's looking to turn things around here. Yeah, I mean, the whole team's looking to turn things around. I'd like them to find their offense tonight. Um, the notable players backing him up, of course, the locked-in Buster Biggs out in left field. He's got... Better than average power, better than average ability to connect. Good speed on a base pass, hitting 375 with one home run. Hanley Dexter is the superstar shortstop. Uh, they got him marked down here as a third baseman, but we all know he's a utility player, can play anywhere on the field. Um, he's got uh, about uh, moderate power, but he's got good ability to connect and good speed on the base pass. He's hitting 322 with six home runs. And then Steve Monstour. The catcher, who is locked in and just having a career season right now, Tom, he's got the better than average power, average ability to connect to average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 367 with nine home runs. Wow, yeah, and uh, Peebles still is at this point to have uh, the top three on uh, base percentages in the league. So still, still, even how badly we've been doing. <laughs> uh, we're getting the lineup for season coach. Looks like this. Freddie Knox is going to start things off and play second base. Right behind him, Hanley Dexteris. Hanley's going to be playing first base today. Get this. Uh, St Sturdy Woodman on a slump. A little tense. So uh, Hanley's going to fill in at first base. Buster Biggs is going to be out left field. He is locked in despite that missed catch in the last game. And he'll be at third. Batting clean up Steve Monster, the home run man, who's also locked in. So it'd be nice to see Steve Monster add some more of those and uh, go for the record. Hammer along Ballo is going to be batting fifth in right field. In center field, Magic Moore batting sixth. Batting seventh place slot, Ham Slam is at shortstop. And batting eighth, Bertha Banks at third base. That's going to leave Hurley Bender batting ninth. And throw it on the mound. He's going to throw the four-finger, two-finger, cut finger. Mix it up the curveball, the slider. Anything else, Pete? No, sir. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Got the roof closed again. Climate controlled here in Red Rock tonight. Today. Yes, sir. Caesar Austin versus Hurley Bender. This is one I'd. This is a ticket I'd buy. Yeah. Gold Coats lineup's going to look like this. Dunk Panetta's going to lead off playing center field. Carlton the star at shortstop. Henry Hooper at second base. Blings catching Lievo at first base. Ballard in right field. Nielsen in left field. Munshata at third base and Austin pitching. As the B Wolves take the field, Dunk Panetta, Carlton Star, and Haley Hooper. I'll get ready to face off against Hurley Bender and his 5.7 ERA. Haley, Henry, <laughs> some Hooper somewhere. <laughs> Dunk Pineda, the neutral and fit, hitting 309, no home runs, 14 RBIs. He's playing center field for the Gold Coats today. First pitch is in there for called strike, strike one. And Bender's got us going. Allen's inside, ball one. One ball, one strike to Dunk Pineda, the Gold Coats center fielder. There's a roller, and Slamis is going to get up on it, make the throw to Dexterous at first for the first out. One up, one down, and in steps the shortstop, Carlton Starr. He's locked in and fit. He's got power versus right-handed pitching. He's hitting 362 with two home runs, 12 RBIs. Carlton Starr gets enough of that one to push it foul. Straight back, strike one. Allen's high ball, one. One ball, one strike, one out. Carlton Starr, the goal coach shortstop. Nobody on base. 
Allen's ripped foul along the third baseline. One and two now to Carlton Starr. Bender had to get a sneeze going there. There's a roller. That'll be foul along the first baseline. One ball, two strikes, one out. Hurley Bender throwing his eighth pitch. And that shot deep, but foul into the stands along the right field line. He'll get another pitch. He fouls that one straight back. One ball, two strikes, one out. Hurley Bender throwing his 10th pitch to Carlton Starr. Oh, Low. ball two. Two balls, and two strikes. 10 pitches already. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Carlton Starr. So there's a lot of the second baseman. fury, but Number not a two. whole lot of payoff for that. Haley Hooper, the right fielder's neutral and pitch. She's got power versus right handed pitching, but she's hitting 156 with a home run, four RBIs. Hooper takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. Haley Hooper playing second base for the Gold Coats. That's inside ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Hurley Bender going to throw his 14th pitch right here. There's a shot that's Jeez. going into center field. A hard line drive into center. Almost killed him. Magic Moral will get it in quickly. So <coughs> Haley Hooper at first base. In steps Arnie Blaine's the catcher. He's locked in and fit. He favors the high pitch. He's hitting 400 with five home runs, 17 RBIs. First pitch to Blaine's is low ball one. One ball, no strikes. Swing and a miss, strike one. That evens the count. One ball, one strike. Haley Hooper at first base. Bender throws over and she gets back. One ball, one strike, two outs. That one's outside, ball two. Two balls and a strike now to Arnie Blings, the catcher. Bender throws his 18th pitch. And Bertha Banks is going to take a step up and grab that one while it was still in the air for the third out. So we're going to head into the bottom of the first. Freddie Knox, Hanley Dexterous, and Buster Biggs going to get a first look at Caesar Austin and his 1.66 ERA. Freddie Knox, neutral of it, hitting 291 with a home run, seven RBIs. All right, as Caesar Austin throws his first pitch right in for a strike, 94 miles an hour, on the count. Freddie Knox reaches out, he knocks it down as a comebacker, picks it up, throws it to first. One out. One out, and in steps Hanley Dexteras. He's a tough out utility player, hitting 322, six home runs, 13 RBIs. Playing mm. first base today. First pitch to Dexterous is over the outside corner for a called strike. There's a line drive to Haley Hooper at second. She'll pick it up off the bounce, makes the throw to first. Two up, two down, in steps Buster Biggs, the left fielder. Well, they need to get this offense going earlier. I mean, I mean the, the uh, Gold Coats are up forever. The Eagles are out in four pitches. That's a pop up center field. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> Heading into the top of the second, still no score. Montanio Levo, Stefan Ballard, and Peyton Nielsen going to face off against Hurley Bender, who threw 18 pitches, wrecked up a strikeout, and gave up a hit in the first now inning. Battle, the first baseman, Antonio Levo. Antonio Levo locked in, fit 292, three home runs, 12 RBIs, solid power. Outfield fading deep, just in case. Number 50 is going to start off the second inning, throwing his 19th pitch. Look for the right signal for Bud Stewart. Oh. Gets it, winds up, throws. Hard foul ball, third base line. Hold on the count to Montonio Levo, first baseman. The California Gold Coats, who so far look like they really want to get one back from us. That one, no swing inside corner, strike. Oh, and two. Bender got him in a hole. Sure would be nice to strike him out on three pitches. We'll see what happens. Oh, just misses outside. Bender looking good so far, though. Taking a while to get there, but getting her done. CRA is at 5-5-4. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Wow, that's a wild pitch. Monster has to run back to grab it. Throw it over to first. And uh, gets that out. Stefan Ballard then comes in now. The right fielder for the Gold Coats. Left hand batter's box. 287 on the season. One home run. Nine RBIs. Check swing inside corner. Strike one. Great contact hitter. Ballard. Really better showing him respect. But not afraid. He knows what to do. 50 gets his signal throws on the ground. Freddie Knox picks it up to his right, back to his left. Two up, two down. Beagles looking to make this a short inning. Let's keep that going. Peyton Nielsen, B plus ranked left fielder. 149 on the season. Two home runs, five RBIs. More power than contact. Good at both. Right hand batter's box. Holds a bat up high. A little bounce in his step. Swings in that first one. Hits in his own dugout. Foul. 
Oh, on the count. Pete Nielsen. Swing and a miss. Strike 2-0-2. Oh, two. Bender got him in a good place. Can he close it out? Oh, up near the elbow. Misses. Ball one. One and two now. The locked in Hurley Bender. Good throw his 28th pitch here. And he's second. Reaches out. I don't know how he got a hold of that. Breaking pitch low and away. Foul ball. Swing and a miss. Strike three. All right. Way to close him out, Hurley. Yes, sir. We're going to head into the bottom of the second. Still no score. Steve Monstour, Hammer Long Ballo, and Magic Moore going to face off against Caesar Austin, who threw all of five pitches in the bottom of the first. Yeah. And gave up nothing. <laughs> so, Steve Monstour is locked in and fit. He's got power versus right handed pitching, hitting 367 with nine home runs, 17 RBIs. First pitch to Monstour, and it's home run. Oh, it's a ball. Ball one. That's ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Austin staying away from Monstor. That one's fouled off into the dugout along the third base side. Oh. That's in there for a called strike. The count is now even. Two balls, two strikes. Caesar Austin, a K man, known for his ability to K them. Monstor fouls that one off. He'll get another pitch. There's another foul ball along the first baseline. Two balls, two strikes, no outs. There's a roller to the third baseman, Munchata. He'll make the throw to Lievo for the first out, one out. But uh, Monstor got him to throw some pitches. Yeah, it wasn't his best at bat, but he, like you said, he got the pitch kind of fans cheering on Long Bolo. He reaches a little soon, pulls it right foul, first baseline, 0 on the count. Cesar Austin going at him again. This is low for a ball. Good patience. We even have one apiece now. That one, oh, oh, come oh on. makes a high part of the strike, so one and two. Fans quiet now. Breaking pitch low. Good patience. Two apiece now. 17th pitch by Austin. This is low ball three. Good patience there, Hammer. Three and two full count. Late swing on the ground to the second base. Hooper one pump throw to first. Two down. The Eagles at least getting the pitch count up though, Pete. Yes, sir. So in steps Magic Boy, the center fielder. He's neutral and fit. He's hitting 254, two home runs, seven RBIs, two outs, and nobody on. First pitch to Magic Moore's high ball one. That one's outside, ball two. Two balls and no strikes. That one's ripped foul, straight back. Two balls and a strike. That's ripped foul. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Austin, a K-man, throws his 23rd pitch. Magic Moore fouls it off, two and two. There's a shot that's on the ground in the center field, and Magic Moore will be the first B-Wolf to hit the ball. <laughs> and so we got a runner at first with two outs. In comes Ham Slamis. Yeah. Um, people's kind of swinging at everything there, but at least he's on. Magic on first base, getting in Caesar Austin's head. The pitch out, no run. One really count. Pressure up now. Way by a ball two. Two and O oh to Sam Slamis. There's one on the line into center field. That's going to be a clean single for Slamis. Way to go, Beeble's getting it out. Hopefully it's not too late. Yes, sir. Runners at first and second with two outs. In steps Bertha Banks. She's neutral and fit, hitting 354. Six home runs, 15 RBIs. Two on, two out. Bottom of the second. Throw back to second, and Magic Morris back. Caesar Austin has gone from locked in to neutral. First pitch to Bertha Banks is in there for a called strike. Strike one. Allen's inside, ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Austin throwing his 30th pitch. Outside ball two, two balls and a strike. That's an effort called strike. That'll even the count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. K-Man, that one's inside ball three. Full count now to Bertha Banks, three and two. There's a shot, that's gonna be out of here. Bertha Banks is going, oh, it's caught with Nielsen with his back to the wall, makes the catch for the third out, but she gave it a good ride. So we're gonna head into the top of the third. Gold Coach, no runs on one hit. B-Wolves, no runs on two hits. Hito Munchada and Cesar Austin get in the first look at Hurley Bender. Dunk Pineda 0 for 1. The third base Hito, Hito Munchada is Munchada. rattled and fit. It's an odd combo. <laughs> Favors the high pitch. He's hitting 159 with a home run, seven RBIs. Those are way off for Hito. <laughs> that pitch is in there for called strike. Strike one. That one's fouled straight back very quickly. Hito Munchada is in the hole. No balls and two strikes. Inside, Inside ball one. One and two. Hito Munchada anticipated that pitch, but he let it go. It was inside. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Down goes Hito Munchata. One out and in steps the pitcher. Caesar Austin. He's uh, a 
Okay, man. He's hitting 200 on the season. No home runs, one RBI. First pitch to Austin's in there for called strike, strike one. No balls and a strike to Caesar Austin, the pitcher. Swing and a miss, strike two, and now Austin finds himself in the hole. 0-2, oh, Austin with that unconventional lean back stance in the, in the batter's box. Austin lets that one go high, ball one, one and two. That's fouled off straight back. One ball, two strikes, one out, bases empty for Caesar Austin in the top of the third. That one's high ball two. Count is even up now. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Caesar Austin. Two up, two down, and we're right back at the top of the order. Doug Pineda, the center fielder. He's neutral and fit. He's 0 for 1 today, though. Bender throwing his 40th pitch right here for a called strike. Strike one. No balls in a strike. Doug Pineda, the center fielder. There's a roller to slam it. He'll charge it, pick it up, double pump, make the throw to Henley Dexteris. And we're heading into the bottom of the third. Still no score. Hurley Benders first at bat. Freddie Knox 0 for 1. Hanley Dexteris 0 for 1. Cesar Austin at 33 pitches. He's given up two hits and no scores. We got a pitcher's battle. We knew Cesar Austin and Hurley Bender, it's going to be a, a pitcher's battle. Hurley Bender locked in and fit, hitting 200 on the season. Sorry. All right, Hurley, good power pitcher. Oh, swings a little early, misses. Oh, on the count. Austin wants to K him. Two oh quick man, strikes because he just K'd Austin in that last side. Oh, misses high. It's a hundred miles an hour high and away. One and two, the count. Two Hurley better. Thirty seventh pitch by Austin. Ah. Oh, bad swings. Three, yeah. four pitch strikeout. Two bad swings on that one. Freddie Knox neutral and fit. Oh for one today. Come on, Freddie, let's get it going here. Caesar Austin at 37 pitch it may make it 38 here that one's oh, popped up on. into left center field and the center fielder Doug Pinedo will make the catch for the second out two up two down and in steps Hurley Handy Dexteris who's tense but fit. Yeah. five five pitches so far we gotta get this pitch cut up fans cheering on Handley right there for a strike of course he knows it Oh well, one 40th pitch that's a ball low even now one apiece Caesar Austin throws way outside and misses. Good patience, Hanley. Even tense, Hanley's much better than that. Three and one, hit his pitch. All right, he could just watch that one. Hey, did he, did he walk him on purpose? I don't know. But with the man on, Buster Biggs, he's locked in and fit. 0 for 1 today. Hanley Dexterous at first base with two outs. First pitch to Buster Biggs is in there for called strike, strike one. Here goes Hanley Dexterous, he's off with the pitch, and he's in there with a stolen base. So a runner at second base, no balls, two strikes, two outs to Buster Biggs. Cesar Austin, the K-man. Allen's inside, ball one, one ball, two strikes. That's low. Allen's low. That'll even count two and two. There's a roller, and that's going to... Oh, no. Oh, Everybody's oh. going to stay. Oh, oh, oh. I thought he was going to call out. <laughs> I thought it was going to get into left field, but uh, the shortstop made a great diving stop. Steve, Steve Von Stewart at the plate with two outs, pressure way up. High pitch. This is ball one, one cup. Boy, a timely home run here would be awesome, wouldn't it? And it's a hard hit to right center field. It's not. It's going to be caught by Dunk. Oh, he, he missed it. it. He missed it. He run, missed run, it. Run, run, run. run. And the runner's coming around from third. He's going to slide in. The Beagles are going to get two runs. Way to go. Oh, my God. I don't know how Dunk missed that. I don't know either. He must have lost it in the sun. Hammer along ball of the right fielder. Neutral and fit. 0 for 1 today. Two outs. Steve Monstor at second base. That one's ripped foul. Strike one. That's oh. an effort called second strike. And very quickly, Hanley Dexterity. Uh, uh, hammer along ball is behind the count. 0 and 2. That one's low, ball one. Austin comes to the plate very quickly. Yeah. That's a shot to Carlton Starr at short. He'll pick it up, make the throw to Lievo for the third out. But the B-Wolves put two on the board. We're going to head into the top of the fourth. It's B-Wolves two, Gold Coats nothing. Carlton Starr 0 for 1 with a strike out. Haley Hooper 1 for 1 and Arnie Blaine's 0 for 1. Bender at 41 pitches with five strikeouts, giving up one hit. Carlton Starr is locked in and fit. He's got power versus right-handed pitching, but he's 0 for 1 today. He oh. is. Sorry, having some issues with some equipment here in the booth. All right, Carlton Starr locked in. 358, two home runs. <laughs> Great contact hitter. Makes contact out in the left field. It is 
fair, fair. Oh my gosh. You're kidding. And the, then he throws to the wrong base and the runner gets over to third. That was that was incredible. Wow, he he did not anticipate that. He thought that was gonna be called, and then he ends up throwing it back into the wrong base and the runner gets to third base. Come on, B Wolves. Oh, Hurley locked in 42. He's got Haley Hooper at the base. Good power hitter. <coughs> Good contact as well. First person there for a strike. Outfield's going to go deep for Haley Hooper just in case. Got to keep this ball on the ground. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 0 oh, 2. A strike I would sure help Hurley. His 45th pitch coming up. Racha. Rana. Low and away. Misses. Ball one. One and two. Now the count to Haley Hooper. Second baseman. Fouls, reaches back, fouls it off the net. Still one and two. Reach, swing and a miss. Foul, uh, swing and a miss, strike three. And a good strike up by Hurley Bender. He needs to get two more. Ernie brings now the catcher, 0 for 1. Great power hitter. Not great contact. So put a little movement on the ball. Could help him out here. The locked in Hurley Bender. Hoping to close out soon. That breaking pitch misses low and inside. Ball one, one on the count. Check swing, ball two, high and away. 50th pitch by Bender coming up right here. Swing and a miss, strike one. All right, two one the count now. Dirty blings, another K would be great, or pop up, or swing and a miss, strike two, two and two. With one out. Breaking a swing and a miss, strike three. Wow, Hurley Bender, way to answer the call to clean up the mistake that Buster Biggs made left field. That brings in Antonio Labo 0 for 1. He's 0 for 1, but he's locked in and fit. He's got good power. Outfield's just going to hang deep the whole time. You got to be careful. Got to get that out. Hurley Bender looking real good on the mound. That one misses outside ball one. One of the count. Gold Coast threatening to score. Beeble's trying to hold him off. Oh, check swing. Ball two. Two and oh to Montonio Lebo. Oh, three and oh. Three quick balls. And now he's in a, a tough spot. He's got a uh, runner at third base. He gets that strike, load inside, 3 1. Now hitters pitch safety off to Montonio Levo. Dag Nabbit. He locks him on the fifth pitch. Dag Nabbit, come on, Let's early. See who follows him up. Stephen Ballard, 0 for 1. Great contact hitter, not great power. Eagles got runners at the corners now. Uh, Ballard's 284, 1 home run, 9 RBIs. Breaking pitch misses low. Hurley Bender still looking for that strike zone. But it's hard following his own dugout. Third baseline, one apiece now. Stefan Ballard. Hard foul ball, first baseline souvenir, one and two. Now he's got him a good spot, 60 pitches. Reaches down, fouls it back off the wall. Still one and two. Reaches down, foul ball, third baseline, one and two. Steve Monster, not sure what to tell him to throw. He waits for the right signal, finally gets it, winds it, throws. Check swing strike three. Hey, wait a, struck out three on the side piece. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Going into the bottom of the fourth. B Wolves two. Gold Coats nothing. Magic Moore one for one. Ham Slamus one for one. Bertha Banks 0 for one. Austin at 54 pitches with a strikeout, giving up a walk and four hits as he is up to a 1.94. Magic Moore neutral and fit. He's one for one with a single. Got the offense started here today. Yes, he did. First pitch way up high. Ball one. One of the count. Magic Moore having a great couple of games. Two quick balls, and now he's confident, just watching him go by. Reaches down, hits that hard on the ground. It's a diving stop by the first baseman. You can't pick it up. Hooper picks up those in the first. It's too late. Magic gets on again, Pete. What a what a what a week for Magic. Yes, sir. He's having a good week. Ham slam is neutral and fit one for one with a single. No outs. Runner at first base in the speedy Magic Moore. First pitch is thrown out. Ball one. That oh no! Popped up in the left field. The left fielder. Is calling for it. He's going to make the catch. Nielsen will throw it into the second base, and Magic Moore will have to stay at first. So one out, runner at first base, in steps Bertha Banks. Well, half of these batters got to get more patient. <laughs> for the Banks, 0 for 1 of the day. There goes Moore for second base, breaking pitch in there. He's in safe. Way to steal it, Magic. Magic's in scoring position now, and outfield single will get him in. There's a ball to Bertha Banks, we're even now one apiece. It makes him a great year. One of the best on-base oh. percentages in the league. That one's a strike. One and two the count. It's Austin versus Banks. Banks swings. Fouls it off the ground. First baseline. One and two still. No. Oh, late third strikeout. It was low. It was low. Oh. Hurley Bender locked in and fit 0 for 1. Two outs now with a runner at second base. Come on, Hurley. Let's get a 
a single here. The speedy uh, Magic Moore may be able to score. First pitch to Hurley Benders in there for a called strike. Strike one. That one's popped up into center field to Dunk Pineda, oh. who's already missed one. <laughs> That's going to get caught for the third out, though. So we're heading into the top of the fifth. It's still B Wolves 2, Gold Coats nothing. Peyton Nielsen 0 for 1 with a strikeout. He told Munchata 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Caesar Austin 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Bender at 63 pitches with eight strikeouts, giving up a walk and two hits. Peyton Nielsen neutral and fit 0 for 1. Nielsen playing left field today for the Gold Coats. So nobody on, nobody out. Top of the sixth, top of the fifth, I'm sorry. B Wolves with a 2 0 lead. There's a roller to Dexteris. He's going to pick that up and make the step on first for himself. One out. Dito Munch, Munchada, the third baseman, rattled and fit. Favors the high pitch. He's 0 for 1 today with a strikeout. He's, there's a roller and no, and flip it. Okay. <laughs> Early Bender had to chase that one down. He picked it up and was able to just flip it to uh, Dexterous just in enough time. So two outs now. And Caesar Austin, the pitcher, steps in. He's 0 for 1 the strikeout. First pitch to Austin's in there for a called strike, strike one. That was strange. I didn't know. I'll have to watch and see which player they gave me because it wasn't the pitcher. And I was trying very hard. Okay, one ball, one strike. Yeah, there's a roller to Bertha Banks. She'll pick it up, double pump, make the throw to Dexterous. Three up, three down. We're heading into the bottom of the fifth. It's still 2 nothing. B-Wolves. Freddie Knox 0 for 2. Hanley Dexterous 0 for 1 with a walk. And Buster Biggs 1 for 2. Austin at 66 pitches with two strikeouts, a walk. Giving up five hits as ERA is up to a 1.9. Here we go, folks. Freddie Knox neutral and fit 0 for 2 today. Right, Freddie, come on, let's go one for three. First pitch to Freddie Knox is high, ball one, one on the count. Down on the low way, ball two, good eye, Freddie Knox. Good patience. You know, that one's right no. in there. It's in the heart of the ground, but straight to Mushada, and Freddie Knox can go for three. I think it was a little early. Hanley Dexterous, neutral and fit, tough out utility player. 0 for 1 with a walk today. One out, nobody on, on the bottom of the fifth. That one's yeah. ripped into right field. Does it have enough? Yes, it does. <laughs> Hanley Dexteris just clears the wall in right field. A home run. That one traveled 371 feet. It's his seventh home run and 14th RBI of the season. And the B-Wolves extend their lead to 3 to nothing. And in steps Buster Biggs, the left fielder. He had a feeling about that first pitch. Fans jumping up and down now. B-Wolves have a 3 nothing lead in the bottom of the fifth. That's right in his wheelhouse, but he somehow gets on top and fouls it back over with a count. That one misses outside corner, got impatience. One apiece now to Buster Biggs. That one also low. Real good eye. Two and one. 74th pitch. Breaking pitch. He's going to push that foul third base line. Even sings up at two apiece now. The K man against the big man. And that's a high floater. Hit high over the head of first baseman into right field. Ballers will stop it. It's a good clean single for him. Buster Biggs. Yes, sir. So one on with two out. Steve Munster, the catcher, locked in and fit. He's got power versus right-handed pitcher. One for two with a double and two RBIs. And a pop-up that looked like it should have been handled by Dunk Pineda and fell for a double. The first pitch to uh, Munster is inside ball one. That one's outside ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Steve Monster. That catches the inside corner for a called strike. Strike one. Ooh. And there's a bit of a, a throw to first, but Lievo couldn't corral the ball. Another throw over to first. Austin does not want Buster Biggs stealing. Allen's low ball three. Three balls and a strike to Steve Monstour. There's a shot. That'll get up into uh, center field. And Buster Biggs was thought about making the turn, but <laughs> thought better of it. So he pulled in at second. Where's the first and second with two outs, insteps, hammer long ballo. Good call. Third base coach here. Got runners at first second. Just one out. Long Ballo is a big hitter. The tenth Caesar Austin throws that one low. One and all the count. The hammer. No. Hammer no. reaches down, hits the grounder to Munchada, goes to second, but An messes error. up on the throw. <laughs> oh wow. Base is loaded now for Magic Moore, who's locked in and fit. He's two for two with two singles. Yeah, they were gonna try and make the double play, but there were the throw to second got botched, so everybody's safe. First pitch to Magic Moore's high ball one. That one's inside ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Oh. Swing and a miss, strike one. Two balls and a strike. Caesar Austin is tense now. There's a shot that's going to get up into center field. And we're going to see what's going to happen. Okay, run, run will score. Probably could have got two, but 
Base is still loaded. One out. What is happening here? And the Beavles are still chugging. They only got one out. Ham Slamis won for two on the day. Good power hitter. Got runners at all four corners. Uh, late swing, foul ball, third baseline, and it's at the just in the front of the Goldcoats dugout. 0 1. Hard liner in left center field. That's going to be multiple bases. Everybody is going around. Everyone's going around. And they're going to get three runs on the play. Wow. A bases clearing double for Slamis. So runner at second base with one out. Bertha Bank steps in. She's neutral and fit. 0 for 2 today. That's going to be the end of Caesar Austin. The B Wolves have raked them over the coals, which we're very happy about because there is a very, very strong competition between Austin and Bender. And uh, obviously, we <laughs> we like Bender. They're going to bring in Wax Can 2, the B plus relief pitcher. He's got a 5.31 ERA, a 1.43 whip, 15 strikeouts. He's locked in and fit. He's got. Uh, Poor velocity, but he's got good junk and, and ex excellent, uh, excellent accuracy. He is not fully, yeah, he's not fully rusted, but he's got a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. So Wax Cantu facing off against Bertha Banks with only one out and a runner at second base. First pitch to Banks is in there for a called strike. Strike one. Allen's hit foul. No balls, two strikes, one out. Bertha Banks, the third baseman, rips that one foul along the first baseline. Again, he's got no no velocity, so it's really easy. Oh, that's got a shot into right center field. That's gonna go all the way back to the wall. Bertha Banks is coming around second. She's gonna be heading for third, and she's gonna get thrown. Oh, yeah. that was so close. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> but they pick up another run. Ham Slam has scored, making it eight to nothing. Yeah, and then Hurley, Hurley Better cracks one out in the center field on the first pitch. He's going to get a first base. What an incredible inning for the Beebles. Boy, they had that seven-run game against them yesterday, and they're trying to make up for it in this inning right here. That's true. Freddie Knox neutral and fit 0 for 3 today. Hurley Bender standing at first base with two outs. First pitch to Freddie Knox is in there for called strike. Strike one. Allen's high ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. There goes Hurley Bender, and he's in there with Ow. a stolen base. So, <laughs> runner at second with two outs. That oh. one's lifted in the left field. The left fielder's calling for it. And Nielsen makes the catch for the third out, but Hurley Bender with a single and a stolen base. <laughs> We're going into the top of the sixth. Gold Coats, no runs, two hits, and an error. The B-Wolves, eight runs on 12 hits. Dunk Pineda, 0 for 2. Carlton Starr, 1 for 2 with a triple and a strikeout. Haley Hooper, 1 for 2 with a strikeout. Dunk Pineda is neutral and fit. He's 0 for 2 today. Pete's like another guy. <laughs> There's a different guy in here than was yesterday. Yeah. I can, I, can, I can hear him smiling when he talks. And Dunkey takes the first one in there for a strike. Oh, on the count. Safety off now. The center fielder for the Gold Coats. We're behind eight to nothing. Swing and a miss, strike two. Hurley Bender riding the waves. He's on fire. Going to throw a 71st pitch and hopes to strike out Pineda. Oh, he reads fouls back that breaking pitch. 0 oh, 2 still to Dunkwell Pineda Ski. Misses that one, and though he anticipated outside, 1 and 2 the count. Number 39, not amused. Oh, no. We're going to get back at him. That was right in there. Hard foul ball souvenir at third baseline. That's going to hurt. You're going to earn that one. Breaking pitch in there for a strike. No swing. <laughs> and he did not. He was not happy with himself, the dunk man. I'd, and, still, uh, I'd still like to hit a long ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. Well, you're not going to do it on the mound. <laughs> Carlton Starr now. Power gets right here. Check swing. This is ball one. Look at the locked in Carlton Star shortstop. Hits one in the right field. Hammerlock ball running up. Oh, has been able to trap it, but not catch it. It's a good, it's a good play, but just couldn't quite get there in time. Carlton Star is going to get on and keep things going for the Gold Coast. That brings in Haley Hooper now. One for two with a single, like a base one for the Gold Coast. People's hoping for that double play ball. You got a faster damage runner at first base. First pitch in the first strike. Oh, one the count to Haley Hooper. Second pitch, ah. hard on the ground, and ha uh, Hanley could not pick it up. Here comes the throw to third. Oh, close. Jeez, they almost got him. But the runner from first makes it third. They got runners in the corners with one out. The beat will, and here comes the locked in early blings, 0 for 2. Uh, good power. Off field's going to fade deep. A double play would close things out. Early closing in on 80 pitches. Going to throw smart. 
Turn blinks. This is the first one. One on the count. Here comes the pitch right now. You got fast start and average runners on both bases. Looking for just the right call. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Nice breaking pitch down low. Even if one apiece. Swing and a miss. Strike two as he came high. One and two. Now he's ahead of the count to early Ernie Lings. Catcher. Field goal coach gets it on the ground. Bertha Banks going to throw a second. And then over to first. Oh, they got him. Wow. I thought it was kind of a weak throw by, by um, uh, 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 Freddie Knox. <laughs> Yeah, they got him. So we're going to head into the bottom of the sixth. It's uh, B-Wolves eight, Gold Coats nothing. Hanley Vicksteris one for two with a home run and a walk. Buster Biggs two for three. Steve Munster two for three with a double. Wax can two through nine pitches. Hanley Vicksteris neutral and fit. One for two with a home run, a walk, and an RBI. Way to get all that in, man. <laughs> Tenth pitch by Wax can. Oh, no. It's a breaking pitch. Hanley hits it on the ground to Hooper. One pitch, one out. Dag damn it. Buster Biggs locked in and fit. Two for three with two singles. Nobody on, one out, bottom of the six. B Wolves eight, Gold Coats nothing. Wax can two delivers that one high, ball one. One ball, no strikes. That one's shot. That's a home run. That's going to be out of here. There you go. Buster Biggs. Yeah, I was going to say. You're averaging about three a game, partner. 384 feet. That's his second home run and 12th RBI of the season. And it goes nine to nothing now. Steve Monstor locked in and fit, steps in. Maybe after Steve, we want to start giving some uh, some some grass time to some of the rookies. Oh, Ooh, Steve, early swing. He's eager. Oh, one on the couch. The Steve Munster. He wants a home run like today. That pitch misses outside. We're even at one piece. The lock is Steve Munster. That breaking pitch misses inside. Two one now. Wax can't through throwing his 16th pitch. This is outside three one. He's being careful. With Steve Munster. It's a smart move. Makes adjustment. Winds up throws. Breaking pitch low, and he walks. Stevie, number 48. Yes, sir. So one on with one out and in steps Hammer Longballo. He's neutral and fit. 0 for 3 today. Longballo has not been on the, has not hit a long ball for some time. Longballo's going to take the seat and in comes Polk Foster, the right fielder. He's hitting 150 with no home runs, no RBIs. He's neutral and fit. He's got no power, but he's a good contact hitter and he's got no speed on the base pass. So with one out in the bottom of the sixth, in comes Poke Foster. First pitch to Poke is in there for called strike, strike one. That one's lifted oh. into left center field. That's going to hey. drop, and unfortunately, uh. they're going to be able to get the runner at who was on first because he had to hold up in case it got caught. So two outs, Poke Foster at first base, and in steps Magic Moore. Oh, I'm Foster, sorry. slow runner, Morris, three for three. Hey, he's going to get out on this one. Star picks up, throws the second, gets that first out. Oh, we should have yeah. pinched run. Yep. Well, no, I guess we couldn't because we need the right fielder. We're going into the top of the seventh. B-Wolves nine, Gold Coats nothing. Montonio Levo 0 for 1 with a walk and a strikeout. Stefan Ballard 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And Peyton Nielsen 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Montonio Levo is locked in and fit. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. I keep wanting to see... Now at right field, Poke Foster. I want to get a look at Hurley Bender's number. He is on fire right now and fit, throwing yeah. his 83rd pitch. Right in there for called strike. Strike one. Lievo is locked in as well. He's playing first base for the Gold Coats. Swing and a miss. Strike two, and very quickly, Lievo is in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Inside ball one. <laughs> One ball, two strikes, no outs. Bender delivers his 86th pitch, and it's going to be lifted into right, left field. Buster Biggs will get it into second base quickly and hold Lievo to a single. So one on with no outs, and in steps Stefan Ballard. He's tense but fit. He's 0 for 2 today. Lievo does not have a lot of speed at first base, not a, not a threat to steal, not like our pitcher. <laughs> First pitch to Ballard's in there for called strike. Strike one. <laughs> Allen's high ball one. One ball, one strike, no outs. Bender upwards of 88. Going to make 89 pitches. Swing on a miss, strike two. Stefan Ballard, the right fielder's behind in the count. One and two. Swing on a miss, strike three. Down goes Ballard. And uh, Hurley Bender had just come down to... to uh, Locked in, but I think he's going to go back up. Peyton Nielsen, he's on fire again. Peyton Nielsen tense. One out, one on. Swing and a miss. Strike one. 
Bender is on fire. 62 strikeouts on the season. That one's inside ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. Swing and a miss, strike two. And now Nielsen's behind the count. One and two. Montonio Levo at first base. That one's popped up into right field. Uh-oh. Poke Foster will make the catch with his back to the field, just the way I like to do it. Two outs. And the rattled Hito Munchada steps in. Rattled and fit. He favors the high pitch. He's 0 for 2 today. Montonio Levo at first base does not have a lot of speed. Two outs. First pitch to Mon Moonshot is in there for a called strike. Strike one. Bender still on fire. Throwing his 96th pitch. High ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Oh, Allen's inside on. ball two. Come on, you want that pitch. Two balls and a strike. Moonshot a place third base. There's a roller to Hanley Dexter. He's going to pick it up. Step on first base for the third <laughs> out. Come on, Hito. Come on, buddy. We're going into the bottom of the seventh. B Wolves nine, Gold Coach nothing. Ham Slam is two for three with a double. Bertha Banks one for three with a double and a strikeout. Hurley Bender one for three with a strikeout. Can't do it. 20 pitches. And giving up one hit. Ham Slam is neutral and Fitties two for three with a double, a single, and three RBIs. Bottom of the seventh. First pitch from Cantu is inside ball one. Cantu's velocity is waning. Allen's inside ball two, and now his accuracy has started to, to wane. Yeah, Allen's is. three straight balls to Ham Slam. It's 3-0. Oh. That's in there for a called strike. Three balls in a strike, and now Cantu is just hurting all over. That one's high ball four. Ham Slam will take first. No outs. In steps Bertha Banks. She's neutral and fit. That's going to be it for Cantu. They're going to bring in Binky Stevens. Binky Stevens, a Mohawk. Reliever, number 19, he's got a 5.52 ERA, a 198 whip, 9 Ks. He's tense right now. You know, mostly for his accuracy, which is about average. Uh, fair velocity and not very good junk. Uh, he's not all that well rested. He's pitched recently. He's got to throw a four-finger and a two-finger, mixes it up with a fork pitch. So, Gold Coats are asking a lot from from uh, Binky Stevens. Binky goes outside corner, misses ball one on the count. Slower than average runner at first base. Two pitches, two balls. Bertha Banks, who's no home run hitter, hits a grounder to second. They're just going to be able to get one runner at first to force play. And that's going to bring in Hurley Bender. He's on fire and fit. One for three with a single and a stolen base. Steve, Ma I mean, uh, Ham Slamis at second with one out. First pitch from Stevens to Bender is in there for a called strike, strike one. Oh. That's, oh, an inside called strike. Two, two strikes now. That one's outside. That's one ball and two strikes now. One ball, two strikes, one out. That one's high. Now the count has gone even two and two. There's a shot. That's going to be down the line. It's a fair ball into the corner in right field. And there goes Ham Slamis. And Hurley Bender slides in with a double. I was thinking of pulling him. Uh, you know, he doesn't need a hit. He's probably not going to pitch it. Oh, Freddie Knox. Too bad. Can't pull Freddie. Anyway, Freddie over four. Um... Oh, we could An easy pop up and do it. And Pete's back to just doing junk. <laughs> <Better food. All laughs> <right>. Two outs. <laughs> two outs uh, and Hurley Bender at second no, with two outs in steps. Hanley Dexter is neutral and fit. One for three, a home run, a walk, and an RBI. Binky Stevens delivers a strike. No balls, one strike, two outs. That one's high ball, one. One ball, one strike. That one's inside ball two. Stevens' junk is starting to suffer. There's a roller to third base. Munchado will pick it up, make the throw to first. Lievo will make the put out for the third out. So we're going to head into the top of the eighth inning. Gold Coats nothing. B Wolves 10. Biggie Stevens first at bat. Dunk Pineda 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Carlton start 2 for 3 with a triple and a strikeout. Bender at 98 pitches, 10 strikeouts, a walk, and giving up uh, some hits. Binky Stevens, neutral and fit. Now batting. <clears throat> Mickey Stevens going to have a seat. They're going to bring in Leland Gutierrez to pinch hit. Leland they, uh, also plays catcher. He is hitting 370. He's, a, he's, a, uh, he's locked in. He's hitting 375. No home runs. Six RBIs. Good contact power and speed. He's a good choice for a pinch hitter. And I'm not sure if Hurley's going to. I guess. I don't know. Hurley's on fire. He's, he's still got some stamina. I guess he can go. Maybe get out of the eighth inning. He's going to throw. 
First pitch ready for strike. Oh, on the count to Leyland Gutierrez. 100 pitch coming up right here. 100 pitches. What a veteran. Check swing strike two. Oh, and two. Can he close him out with number 101? Winds up. Throws it. Breaking pitch. Foul ball. Third baseline. That's nobody's going to get there in the dirt. Still 0 and 2 to Gutierrez. Oh, does not chase low and inside. Still 1 2. He's going to throw his 103rd pitch, and he's not even losing anything yet. He's still fresh as a daisy. Oh, up near the elbow. That misses. 2 2 now. 103 pitches. Here comes the number 104. Gets a signal from Monster. Winds up, throws it. Breaking pitch, foul ball, third baseline. Now he's making him throw a whole bunch, though. He's going to get to 105. Sweet of a strike three. <laughs> That's another K. Going for the K record. What a day for Hurley Bender. Here comes Doug Pineda 0 for 3. 298 of the season. Hurley losing a little bit of velocity now here. Deep game, top of the eighth. Gets one low and away. Strike one. Oh, on the count. To the Dunk Master. It's not Al anymore. It's Dunk. This is that one inside. One apiece. 108. Swing and a miss. Strike two. One and two. He's losing a little stamina now. Looking a little tired. We still got Chuck and Nick. Swing and a miss. Strike three. He took Benito. So frustrated. Oh, man. Hurley's going to strike out the side of the bottom of the eighth. Here comes Carlton Starling. This is the guy to get around. He's two for three with a triple and a single. Uh, 371. Two home runs. Hits one on the ground to slam us. That's going to be it. Way to go, Hurley. Way to get out of that one. Hey. Yes, sir. So they're going to bring out Leland uh, Gutierrez. They're going to bring in Dax Singh, the A-ranked closing pitcher. Singh mm -hmm. with a 3.18 ERA, a 1.24 whip, 15 strikeouts. He's neutral and fit. He's got good velocity. He's got uh, better than average junk and, and uh, better than average accuracy. He's fully rested. He throws a four-seam fastball, a curveball, and a changeup. So as we go into the bottom of the eighth, it is B Wolves 10, Gold Coats nothing, Buster Biggs 3 for 4 with a home run, Steve Monster 2 for 3 with a double and a walk, Poke Foster 0 for 1, Dax Singh bringing that 3.18 ERA to the bump here for the bottom of the eighth. Uh, Buster Biggs locked in and fit 3 for 4, a home run, two singles, and an RBI. All right, you're going to leave Buster in. They're not going to bring in Barney Bryant. Uh, first pitch over strike, 0 on the count. Second pitch, and this is low and inside, 1 apiece. Buster having a great day. Just, oh! Late, so I think that was a home run pitch. One and two. There was your home run chance. There's a liner in the left center field, and Buster Biggs is the man of the hour. He's going to be on the top three. He's got to be. So with no outs, uh, a runner at first base. In step, Steve Monster. He's locked in and fit. He's got power versus right-handed pitching. He's two for three, a double, a single, a walk, and two RBIs. Runner at first base with no outs. First pitch is in there for a called strike. Strike one. That one's high ball one. One ball, one strike. Oh, that's fouled off. And is it going to be caught? It looks like the left fielder is going to Peyton Nielsen's going to be able to get over there and make the catch for the out. So one out. <laughs> and wow, Buster Bix just getting back to first base. Yeah. So one out. And Poke Foster steps in. He's Poke neutral and fit. Oops, sorry, Tom. That's okay. Poke Buster over for one. Got a fast runner at first base. I think well, Poke got on last time he was up. Hey, there's a, there's a single. I told you Poke was hot. <laughs> Cook Panetta picks it up. He will get two on with one out. Yes, sir. One out, two on. Magic Moore locked in and fit. He's three for four with three singles and an RBI. Magic Moore having a heck of a week, Tommy. Moore squares around a bunt, and that one's outside. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. There's a bunt down the third baseline. Everybody's going to be safe. So he just bunted. The base is loaded. So with one out, in steps Ham Slamis. Wow. Did not expect that. Um, all right, Ham Slamis, pressure way up. High and inside, misses ball one. Base is loaded with one out. He will in the score. No, there. double There's play. One That's a double play. It's going to get him out of the inning. There he goes over one, deck two. Boy, way to clean up there, Gold Coats. <laughs> Dag nabbit, come on. Going into the top of the ninth, Gold Coats. No runs on five hits with an error. The B-Wolves, 10 runs on 17 hits. Haley Hooper, two for three with a strikeout. Ernie Blings, 0 for three with a strikeout. Mantonio Leva, one for two with a walk and a strikeout. Haley Hooper, neutral and pitch. He's got power versus right-handed pitching. He's two for three with two singles. Hurley Bender starting to hurt, but he's uh, on fire and fit. His velocity and his stamina are, are shaking. Going to bring in Macy York, the closing pitcher. A 
All right, Macy York with a 3.86 ERA, a 2.36 whip, six strikeouts. She's neutral and fit. She's got about average velocity, less than average junk, and a little bit better than average accuracy. She's fully rested. She throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. So in the ninth, they need three. Allen's fouled off. Haley Hooper pushes it in the dugout along the third baseline. No balls, one strike. Hooper, the second baseman, takes that pitch inside ball one. One ball, one strike, no outs. Allen's fouled straight back, and very quickly, Haley Hooper now behind in the count, one and two. One ball, two strikes. There's a roller, but that'll be foul. Just to the foul side of the foul line along the first baseline, one and two. That's fouled straight back. Hooper making York throw some pitches. She's throwing her sixth pitch. That's low. That's low ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Haley Hooper with power versus right-handed pitches. She anticipated oh, that, and that's good. There goes the shutout. Oh. That one got out of here quick. A line drive home run to right to uh, right field. Traveled 375 feet. That's her second home run and fifth RBI of the season. And at least the Gold Coats won't get shut out today, Tommy. Arnie Blings, the catcher's locked in and fit. Favors the high pitch. He's 0 for 3 today. Macy York throws her eighth pitch. It's popped up behind home plate. Steve Monstor is there, makes the catch for the first out. One down, and in steps Montonio Levo. He's locked in and fit. One for two with a single and a walk today. One out, nobody on in the top of the ninth. B Wolves 10, Gold Coats 1. There's a shot that's going right to Freddie Knox. A line drive. One pitch, one out. So it's two outs now. Stefan Ballard's tense, but fit. He's 0 for 3 today. Ballard, the right fielder, up in the top of the ninth with nobody on. Takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. No balls, one strike to Stefan Ballard. Swing and a miss, strike two. And very quickly, Stefan Ballard is in the hole. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Macy York delivers low, ball one. One ball, two strikes. Allen's low as well, ball two. That'll even the count up. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. One more out, and the B Wolves got this one closed out. That's going to get into left field, and Buster Biggs will pick it up and throw it in to Freddie Knox at second base. So a base runner with two outs, and in comes Peyton Nielsen, the left fielder. He's tense but fit. He's also 0 for 3 today. York's got to shut this down. First pitch and a smash, but foul along the third baseline. Strike one. Nielsen, the left fielder's tense. There's a shot, and that's going to get. And Bertha Banks dives for it, picks it up, and makes the throw across. That was a hot smash. She made a great play at third base, and it makes a she great throw. She was done. Throw. She was. <laughs> We're not doing this again. She was, and she made that throw all the way across from line to line almost. She went from foul line to foul line with that throw, and she was able to get him out. So uh, that's it, folks. The B Wolves win. They win in decisive fashion, and the offense seems to have returned to Red Rock, Tommy. Yeah. Oh, wow. What a day. These fans are going bananas. I don't think they expected to see this win today, but they're losing it. <laughs> uh, the B Wolves get two and a third to start things off. There's a gap in the fourth, and in that fifth inning, they, they bust out. They get six more runs in the fifth, making it eight nothing. They get another one in the sixth, making it nine nothing. In the seventh, they get their last one, making it ten zip. Um, Haley Hooper, I think, gets that home run in the top of the ninth, right to the wall. That's it. That's all the go coats are going to manage. They get the one run off of seven hits, that we have one error. Uh, B Wolves get ten runs on 17 hits. Wow, what a breakout game. Yes, sir. Dunk Pineda comes in, goes 0 for 4, strikes out twice. Carlton Starr goes 2 for 4, strikes out once. Haley Hooper has a good day, goes 3 for 4 with one run, one home run, one RBI with one strikeout. Uh, she's only hitting 185 out of the season, so that is a real good day for her. Ernie Blinks, 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Montonio Levo, 1 for 3 with a, a hit. No, 1 for 3 with a, with a walk and a strikeout. St uh, Stephen Ballard, 1 for 4 with 2 Ks. Peyton Nielsen, 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Hito Munchada, 0 for 3 with one strikeout. Caesar Austin, 0 for 2 with one strikeout. Wax Can 2, Vicky Stevens, both come in and don't hit. Uh, Gutierrez comes in, goes 0 for 1 with a strikeout, and Dax Singh, 
also comes in to sub with no at bat. Yes, sir. And then over there for the um, B Wolves, Freddie Knox goes 0 for 5. The only, I think, the only B Wolf who didn't hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Henley Dexterous goes one for four, scores two runs, hits a home run, gets uh, an RBI and a walk. Uh, Buster Biggs, four for five today, Tom. He wow. scores three runs, hits a home run, racks up, gets an RBI on that one. Steve Monstour goes two for four, scored a run, he gets two RBIs and walked once. Hammerlong Ballo, he goes 0 for three. So, again, not so good, but he did score a run. So, 0 for three, yep. but he, he reached base at least once. Uh, Poke Foster goes one for two. Uh, Magic Moore, four for five, scored a run and uh, had an RBI. Ham Slamis goes two for four, scores two runs, had three RBIs and walked once. Uh, Bertha Banks, one for four with an RBI and a strikeout. Hurley Bender goes two for four with an <laughs> RBI and a strikeout. And Macy York did not have an official at bat, so that's how it breaks down. And Hurley Bender, of course, with a stolen base. Yeah, of course. Uh, Caesar Austin comes in and gets the bitter loss. He throws four in the third inning, gives him ten hits, seven earned runs, walks a batter, strikes out just two, gives up a home run. His ERA climbs up to a 2.83. That's how good it was. Yeah. Uh, his record is now four and two on the season. Wax Cantu comes in, throws one and two thirds innings, gives up three hits, gives up two earned runs, two walks, uh, one home run. He's got a 5 7 3 RA. He's 3 1 1 on the season. Vicky Stevens comes in, throws an inning, gives up just one hit. Good good performance by him. He, he is a 5 1 7. He's 0 2 0. Dak Signet comes in, gives one inning, uh, pitches one inning, gives up three hits. Uh, no runs or anything like that. His ERA is at a 2 9 2. He's 1 1 4. And over there for the B Wolves, these are these are stellar numbers right here. I like talking about these. <laughs> Hurley Bender will get the win. Of course he will. He pitched eight innings, only gave up five hits. No earned runs. He walked one and struck out 12. He gave up no home runs. His ERA is at a 4.67, and his uh, record improves to two wins, one loss, no saves. Uh, Macy York comes in and shuts it down. Uh, she pitched an inning, gave up two hits, one earned run. She did give up a home run. Her ERA jumped up to a 4.76, uh, and her record will remain no wins, one loss, and three saves. 12 strikeouts. The number one. Star of the day, the superstar, Hurley Bender, eight innings pitch, five hits, a walk, 12 strikeouts, two hits, and a stolen base. <laughs> wow, what a, what a day. What a day for the best pitcher in the game, in my opinion. Second yes. star of the game, the B-plus ranked left fielder, number 39, Buster Biggs. It's been a long time off the board for him, but boy, did he get on today. Yeah. Four for five with a home run, an RBI, and three runs. Yes, sir. And then the third star, I'm sure this was a, this was a tough one because uh, Magic yeah. Moore goes four for five as well. But but I think it's the fact that uh, Ham Slam is the B-minus ranked shortstop. He comes in with two for four. He hit a double, but he winds up with three RBIs. That double yeah. was a bla bases clearing. It had the bases loaded. Yeah. So it was a bases clearing double. He picks up three RBIs and he scores two runs himself. Ham Slam is doing it, contributing five of the ten runs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> way to go, Amwell. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. Gamer stats, Tommy G with nine hits, two home runs, five RBIs, two great catches, a stolen base, and four strikeouts for a contribution of 51%. PJ with five, eight hits, no home runs, five RBIs, one great catch, two stolen bases, eight strikeouts for a contribution of 49%. Oh, that was winning big. <laughs> yes, sir. That felt good. We needed that, man. If we lost one more game, I don't know. Yeah. Grabbing on straws, but uh, we won. That, that was a fun. good one. Yeah, especially going up against somebody like Caesar Austin. I mean, he's one of the best in the business. And, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, we, I mean, you know, that first inning, what was it? Like, he got three outs on five pitches. It really looked like maybe it was going to be his day, but I think uh, the offense – Settled down a little bit. They let him start throwing some pitches, and uh, and uh, yeah, they were able to get to him quick. They did. They did. A uh, little bit of news after that last game. Uh, there is one move here. It looks like Jerry Rawner uh, gets signed on to the Warblers, replacing Harrison Rums. So Harrison Rums, 33-year-old starter slash reliever, B-ranked, really accurate, known for his accuracy. Uh, he was making $7.7 million a year. He gets uh, replaced by the C-plus-ranked. 40-year-old uh, Jerry Rawner. Um, 
runner is uh, had less velocity, but he's better junk, 52 junk. He's known mostly for his accuracy at 56. Still 33 less than than uh, the younger uh, Harrison Rums. But uh, the, his thing is he's going to be making $2.5 million a year, so they say big on runner. Yes, sir. Dick Berger has lowered his asking salary. He was asking 3.2, but he'll be happy to take 3.1 if he can catch on somewhere with somebody before the end of the season. We'll keep an eye on him. Uh, player development, uh, available target practice for Deshaun LeVon, new training. Uh, we'd add one to the velocity and two or seven to his accuracy. So that's something we consider. And uh, Benson Rushmore is uh, raring to take on a new training regime. Uh, so he wants to try teeth whitening. I don't know how that helps him pitch, but uh, <laughs> he can gain one to his speed, uh, five to his velocity with a 15% chance of gaining 15. Wow, that would be a, that would be a big yeah. gap, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. He'll he could get uh, he'll gain one on to, on his junk with a 10 percent chance of gaining six to his junk, uh, but he's got a 10 percent chance of gaining a K dud mm. my, um, reputation. So mm. uh, let's see if we go, look at player development. Is there anything we can afford? Um, Deshaun Levon afford, and Freddie Knox. We could be a uh, afford Freddie Knox horse hormones. He lose three to his power, which he doesn't have much. Add six to his speed. Uh, to me, it's not as attractive as the Freddie. Now, we could buy the Frangipani bullpen session in one game, but there's a 50, 55% chance it will offer, or it will it will end. Um, the other way, yeah, so it's it's either, Desha- I think it's either Deshaun now or hope to get Fran in the next game. Fran would add two to velocity, which would bring her up to 70, 76 and a junk of 61. Um, but there's a, there's, a, there's a good chance it ends. And then Deshaun's, well, his offer will remain for at least six games. He did one of his velocities, so he'll go to 49 accuracy, two or seven, which would bring him up. He'd be pretty darn accurate. What do you think? Uh, my thought is we wait. Because if we could get the bullpen session with Fran Japani, and, you know, I know the velocity is only going to go up to 75, but at least it's up to 75. There's a 10% chance if she gets that plus 7, I mean, uh, not 75, but 61 on her junk. Yeah. But there's a 10% chance she could get that 7, at which point she'd be over 80 on her velocity. Yeah. So if we could get that, we might as well get it. And if, you know... If it, that's gone, well, then we'll def- we should definitely have enough money for the Deshaun Levon. Deshaun Levon. Yeah. I like it. Right, let's hold off. We'll see what that means. Okay. All right, cool. All right, and then uh, so schedule. Uh, our next game is still at home. we got two more games at home before we go anywhere. So you'll catch us uh, Monday. Uh, it's going to be the Beavis hosting the, the Hawaii Burners. So it's going to be Beavis Ortiz on the mound versus Oldham Flower, Flounder. Uh, and then the front runners didn't they didn't they beat up on us before no we well, beat up see. on them 10 to nothing <laughs> yeah the the burners is gonna be the only time we face in their 500 team right now i mean there is gonna be three oh yeah the burners aren't gonna play again should we just simulate these three games now to give us a tell you what happened to them so that we can sure if you want we, okay so let's find out what happened to these other games while we were playing and start off with the buzzards at the Moose, what happened? All right, the Buzzards travel to Detroit to take on the Moose. The Buzzards are going to win that one, four to two. Crocs were at the Arctics in Tacoma, and the Crocs... Oh, no, the Arctics came back one eight seven. The Water Bullets stick it on the Warblers. Water Bullets out early, and they're going to hold on to win seven to nothing, so they shut out the Warblers. All right, so we really don't have to run through this whole thing here. We'll do that before the next game, as we always do. But, yeah, it looks like the Burners are 500-team second to last place in that Pathfinder division. So, yeah. Uh, chances. I mean, they got a plus 16 run differential. So they, they can they can make it happen. But if we keep the pedal down, though, here and take another one, that's going to get us a game back from the Nemesis, right? Or a half game. Well, yeah. And, I mean, it'd, it'd be a half game until they played. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, you can see their hold, Holden Flower, Beavis Ortiz. They got McCormick, Trejo, and Savage. Yeah, well, they're, they're, they got three guys that are locked in. What's that? Who do the um, Nemesis play next? They play the Gold Coats. Um, Nala Williams versus uh, Dapper. So there you go. All right. 
Let's hope the uh, Gold Coast can exact a little revenge on our nemesis. Yeah, Help us yeah. start, start to claw back into it. But we got <laughs> uh, we got to win, you know. Yeah. Uh, thanks to the offensive output, I think we have the best run differential in the league now with a plus yeah. 39. Um, yeah, so we can't take these guys lightly. We got to continue to work on the offense. Hopefully, you know, we're only getting uh, like we're only getting power out of half half the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I'd like to kind of even it out a little bit, maybe get a little bit more out of the other side, but we'll see what happens. All right, all right. So we're approaching the hour and fifteen minute mark, so we're gonna wrap things up here. But uh, until we see you for that next game against the Burners, this is Tommy G, and this is PJ, and we're saying, get out of here.